and like I showed you guys everything. I showed you guys my upsell. We scaled this one store, one product to $34,000. What's up? This is episode 13. This is when things are getting spicy, like we're scaling, sales are coming in. This is the most exciting part of dropshipping. Like this is when all the fruits of your labor start coming in with ease and you're just sort of duplicating ad sets, you're spending one or two hours a day to optimize things and sales are flooding in. Like this is when things get excited and I want to thank everyone that made it this far into the program. Like thank you for like watching every single episode. You guys are the real ones. Before we get to the video, let's announce last video's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consulting calls with me. The winner's here. All you have to do to qualify is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button and I'll be picking the best comment every single day video let's get into today's episode as you can see it's the 7th of september a day has gone by we launched those us and worldwide lookalike audiences yesterday on the 6th of september it's only 9 a.m and we already have 339 purchases which is insane like yeah like we're getting to scaling a lot of orders are coming in if you see the top orders we already got one sale from the upsell which is 360 glide version one on the bottom right hand corner for $17.99 so the upsells are working and things are going our way so you know up until now we've only been doing this with two freaking apps Zipify, one click upsell and Oboe that's all we've been using so I wanted to sort of increase the conversion rate further since we're getting a lot of worldwide orders so I'm going to go ahead and install the best currency converter very easy, we, we, all we have to do is go to the Shopify app store, search up best currency converter, install the app, and then now you could go with the free version, but I highly recommend you might as well pay the late version. It's only $10 a month because the main important thing is having the order switch of currency based on the person's IP and sort of address and what country they're from, it automatically converts. So as you can see, we go ahead and pick the paid version. Um, I start with a free trial and we pay the $9.97, the $9.95. Now we go ahead and set up the app. And I'll take you guys through the whole process. Um, they also have very clear instructions, uh, which I'm going to, you know, look at and copy. So I'm going to open the settings into a new tab. And then I'm going to look at the instructions and then change the currency formatting to what they want. So you sort of need copy and paste this span class money. Put it in front and you sort of put this span afterwards to close it off. And then I have to save. So now we finish that. Make sure everything is on yes. So order switch yes. Checking all the different currencies we have. Everything looks good so far. Just making sure everything is okay. And now I'm gonna to go to 360 Glide to test it out. Since I'm located in Australia, the price should be in AUD. So it starts with USD, it says $21.99, and then bam, it gets switched to $32.11 Australian dollars as this drop down for the different currency, and it's looking very, very good. So I add to cart to check it out. With the um, one click upsell, the add to cart button links me directly to the checkout button. So I skip the cart page and that increases the conversion rate further. So that's a one click upsell, it's a very strong app. But yeah, so we install the currency conversion and that's the whole setup process for that. Now, another thing I go over is with the one click upsell, since it sort of creates its own cart page, I want to streamline the checkout process even further by having it autofill address. You know how when you type in your address and there's a bunch of suggestions on what your address is and it autofills everything? Well, I'm going through that process right now to install that autofill address during the checkout process. So you have to like go to Google APIs, you have to like enable the map JavaScript. It's like a long process. Um, I'm gonna fast forward it now. Those who sort of want this sort of unfast forwarded version, check out the description below where um, you could get the raw footage for insanely cheap if you want to follow these steps step by step. But this is very boring stuff and a lot of people are probably going to skip through it anyway, so I'm going to fast forward it. So I'm back on Zipify, one click upsell. I got the Google API key, which now I pasted in. Now address order complete. 
is now finished. So now when people check out and they type in the address, a bunch of suggestions on what address is most likely going to be theirs. They could click it and fill in all the street address, the city, the province, the country, everything. So it makes the checkout process even more streamlined. And that's why I love Zipify one click upsell. Not only does it remove the checkout cart sort of page, it allows you to auto complete address fill. On top of that, it allows you to post purchase upsells with a simple click of a button where the order gets automatically added to that customer's order with a simple click. They don't have to refill in their address to purchase the upsell. But yeah, look, let's take a look at the stats and reports. It's September the 8th. We just went ahead. It's still the same day. Um, we just finished configuring the best currency converter as well as the order fill for the checkout page. And now let's check a look at where all our orders are coming from. We've got eight orders from India, United States, Germany, Spain, Brazil. So we're getting like a decent amount of orders from these obscure countries. So now I'm going to go ahead based on that data. I'm going to use that data to go ahead and create lookalike audiences for it. So now that we have 1,800 page view custom audience, since we hit that above 1000 threshold, we could now do page view lookalike audiences. And as you can see, we're at 59 purchases. It's September the 8th. We started on September the 2nd. So it's only been six freaking days and we already got 59 orders. Um, as you can see, the 002 is all the 95% lookalike audiences. And then if you see here, the 003 is the page view lookalike audiences. So I went ahead and since page view went above a thousand, now I can go ahead and create lookalike audiences for page view. And I went ahead and started with the worldwide lookalike audiences because that's sort of where I like to start. And as you can see, already one of the ad set got a purchase at $5.28. And all my lookalike audiences, as you can see, I'm setting them at $20 budget, um, pretty expensive. Um, but you know, I really want to scale fast and show you guys how to really scale and outscale all your competition. Now we're going to go ahead and create US lookalike audiences for PageView since we already had worldwide lookalike audiences for PageView. And then now I'm looking back at the data and it looks like, okay, India is doing pretty well. We got eight purchases in India. Let's do lookalike audiences for India. And then now I go back and I edit the, um, PageView custom audience. I don't know why I did PageView for the past 14 days. I think I just wanted to really throttle the retargeting um, and really retarget people a lot in the past 14 days. But for the sake of creating look like audiences, you want to have as much PageView data as possible. So I'm going to change it to the past 180 days. And now I'm going to go ahead and create lookalike audiences based on the top countries that we're getting sales from. As you can see, I'm looking at the reports. That's why the reports are very important. I see that we're getting a lot of orders from India. So now I'm going to create Indian lookalike audiences. Um, since the audience size is pretty decent, I'm going to do you know, 2%, 6.5 million per audience size, which is perfect. If it was like over 10 million, then would I split it up into like 1% each time but since it's 6.5 million I'm okay doing 2% 0 to 2 2 to 4 and as you can see I'm going pretty crazy like I see that we have a lot of orders in Germany and Spain now I'm going to go ahead and create lookalike audiences for these countries as well as you can see 1% is just way too small so I do 0 to 10% which gives me an audience of 3.2 million for Germany I go to Spain same thing 0 to 10% to create an audience size of 2.5 million. I do one for Brazil. I see that, you know, zero to 10 is quite a lot. So I think I break it up into two, 5% each. Actually, I changed my mind and I do um, 2% because um, each 2% is like 2.7 million, which is a pretty good size. and then I create audience. And as you can see, we're just launching a ton of lookalike audiences. Like this is live. No one ever shows you this stuff live in the sort of time. Um, a lot of people sort of have all these campaigns already launched and they're going back into ad accounts and they're showing you the previous days step by step. But this is live things. Like you're taking a look over the shoulder and that's why this is a game changer. And as you can see, we're getting a bunch of sales and all these different ad sets. Um, we're getting very low cost per purchases and things are going very well and scaling process is like doing an insanely good job. 
So now I'll go ahead and duplicate one of the best ad sets 17 times because we created 17 new sets of new lookalike audiences. Now I basically create the ad sets for the US page view. I name it 003. So 001, 000 is all my retargeting ad sets. I'll show you guys how I organize my ad campaigns. 001 is all my interest targeting ad sets. 002 is all my 95% lookalike audience ad sets. 003 is all my page view lookalike audiences. As you can see, everything's very organized. I'm putting in notes in my titles. It says US page view lookalike audience, IG mobile. Um, so everything is very organized. Um, and now go ahead and launch all those um, lookalike audiences for those different countries I created lookalike audiences for. I'm gonna fast forward this process uh, because it's very boring. Now, again, if you guys want the raw recording where I don't fast forward the footage and you wanna follow me step by step because you missed something, check out the description below. I sell the raw recordings for like insanely cheap. It's dirt cheap. So you definitely wanna check that out. So as you can see, I'm adding the lookalike audiences for Spain, Germany, India, Brazil, I bulk rename them to Brazil, like that's a fast way to do it. And I think that's it, that's everything. So I go ahead and close the panel and I publish all 17 ad sets and they're all at $20 each, which is insane. I launched 17 ad sets at $20 each. So that's an extra $340 per day in ad spend, which is just insane. And as you can see, I didn't show you guys before, but all my best ad sets, I've been duplicating the budget. So I went from 20 to 40 on the one I'm hovering over now. Um, there was a 95% one, 0 to 1%, 002, that has 10 purchases. The budget is now at $60, so I increased it from 20. I think I literally tripled it to 60 because the ad set was just doing so well. I tripled the budget to $60. And as you can see, some ad sets are at 40. So I basically wait till I get two purchases um, at least at an insanely profitable ROAS and then I double the budget from 20 to $40. Um, so that's an extra tip. Yeah, I'm hovering over it now. As you can see, this is one of the strongest ad sets. 10 purchases at $9.27. Like that's highly profitable and that's Australian dollars. So I'm getting purchases at like seven, six to $7 USD. But yeah, that's the end of today's episode. That was intense. That was a lot of scaling. We're going to hit $1,000 days very, very soon. It's the 8th of September. It's only been six freaking days since we launched and there's just so much momentum. Thank you for watching. Things are just going to get better and better and you guys are going to want to stay tuned for the next few episodes. Like next level content. I'm going to reveal more scaling strategies, more increasing of AOV strategies. Like I'm, I'm giving everything away on this series. So I hope you guys are finding value. If you guys are, don't forget to subscribe. That really helps. Share this series if you find value in it. Drop a comment below. Question of the day. What are your thoughts on this series so far? Give me your thoughts. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this and I hope you have an amazing day. Peace. So as you can see, we've got 92 freaking purchases, 92. Yesterday we were at 56, so like things are going very well. As you can see, we're getting sales on our new lookalike audiences that we launched in last episode. The Brazil ad sets are getting purchases, the Spain, the India. India is surprisingly doing pretty okay.